In this video, I would like to talk to you about discrete probability distribution. So I'll start by reminding you what's a variable. A variable is something that changes from one item or from one member to another. For example, how many mobile phones do you have? Some of you have one mobile phone. Some of you have two mobile phones. Some have three. Suppose that the maximum number of mobile phones a student has is four. And let us also assume that some of the students don't have any mobile phones at all. So that's my variable x. Well, this variable now is quantitative or qualitative. These are numbers. So if these are numbers, then it's quantitative. What kind of quantitative variable is it? Discrete or continuous? Well, these are countable items, so they are discrete. So that's an example of a discrete variable. So here we have a discrete variable. So now if I ask any student how many mobile numbers you have, he might answer 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 by chance. So the values of this variable are coming by chance. So if the variable values are coming by chance, then it's called a random variable. So this is now a random, discrete, random variable. So the random, from where coming this word, it, it's coming from the values coming by chance, which means it's coming from probability experiment. And, and this probability experiment in this case is uh, the random selection of students and asking them how many mobiles they have. So now we can have a probability for each value. Suppose the probability now will be like this. The probability the person has, uh, let's put this in a table. So the probability that the person has no mobile, suppose it's very small, suppose it's 0.1 or 0 0.05. The probability the person has one mobile, maybe this is a majority, so it's going to be 0.7. The probability the person has two mobiles is probably 0.15. And the probability that the person has uh, three mobiles, suppose it's 0 0.08 and this is 0 0.02. Okay, so now what I have now is the probability for each value. And this is all the possible values from 0 to 4. So this table is called a discrete probability distribution. You have a distribution for the probability. And you have a distribution for the probability because you have the probability for every value. The probability for every value and you put them in a table. So now you have a discrete probability distribution. Just like in frequency distribution, you have a frequency for every class. So now, what is my discrete random variable again? My discrete random variable is x. And in this case, this x is, in fact, it represents the number of mobile phones a student have. Let's suppose this x is the number of mobile phones a student have. Okay? Now let us see another example of a discrete probability distribution. Suppose you have a die and you're rolling this die one time. So what will be the outcomes? 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. So now this is a simple example of a discrete probability distribution because the outcome x could be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 and 6 and the probability as you know they are all equal. They are all equal to 1 over 6, 1 over 6, 1 over 6 and as you know, when you add all these probabilities, it should be 1. Because in any probability experiment, uh, when you add the outcome probabilities, like the probability of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, the sum should be 1. So that's why the sum here should be 1. And the previous example also, if you noticed, the sum of the probabilities must be 1. 